What's going on YouTube? Hello short tutorial. I just want to show you how you can insert a scroll bar into Microsoft Excel Sheet. So to do this, first you need to make sure that you have the developer tab. Now if you don't have the developer tab, you can add it easily by going to File, Options, and then you can go to Customize Ribbon, where here you can click on Not Popular Commands, but Main, but main tabs and then you can click on developer and then click add if you haven't added it already I already have it but um, that's just how you can add it now that you have the developer tab you click on developer tab you're going to, want to go to insert under the controls grouping click insert and now under form controls you can you see this little option right here you're going to do form controls in this example not active X controls you're going to click on a scroll bar which is kind of towards the middle on the second row the scroll bar and then you can just now draw the scroll bar by looking for um there's not tons of flexibility in terms of um easily and quickly and easily editing the color and stuff but um, you can get out of control of the size so now you can actually assign the scroll bar to a cell so just say you wanted to assign the values of the scroll bar to h4 do this, we can right click on the scroll bar, then we can click on format control. And you can set the value of the scroll bar, so the current value is zero. What's the minimum value? Well, the minimum value of the scroll bar is zero. And one thing to is by values, this is ultimately the scroll bar allows you to kind of scroll through and change the values that are in the cell. So if you have from zero value from zero to hundred, you can scroll zero to hundred in your uh, scroll bar. So minimum max value is hundred. Incremental change is 1, the page change is set at 10, and the cell link. So, what cell do we want to have the values changed? We want it to be changed in H, H2. And 3D shading just kind of impacts the way it looks a little bit, but not too much. So, we're going to click OK. Now, if we change screen just the scroll bar, the values right here changes. And this is great because we can like do calculations based off this number, or we can like, for example, have as like a height argument or a or a um, rows or columns argument in the offset function, or use it as a match, or what you know that makes it where you can kind of have this interactivity um, in this number right here. So yeah, that's it. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.